speak up everybody it's your girl sophia aka sophie back here on sophia's football talk for a short but sweet match reaction another one a lot of you guys have been loving the world cup women's world cup content that we've been doing on this channel you know done with the watch along i was you know a bit scared dreading it almost you know i was thinking maybe nori might get knocked out will this happen but no after literally having a horrible start at the opening game against New Zealand, losing 1-0, and then drawing 0-0 against Switzerland, and then suddenly having like a whole controversy, debacle, you know, with the player not feeling happy, you know, it just looked like it was so toxic and, and the group was so divided. But I was hoping and predicting, yo, I need to see a proper response i need to see you gotta show me that you want this you gotta show me that you want to win and that's exactly what they did plus more okay with the hat trick from sofia ruman Hag, the roma striker no she just got thrown into the game last time against switzerland as our star player other hegebad got injured right after, you know, obviously warming up uh, and, and then getting subbed out right after the national anthem was sung and whatnot. And then Karolina Graham Hansen, of course, being dropped in that game. And like I said, the controversy with some of her comments, obviously she later then apologized, but we were thinking, can we galvanize the team? Which we did. So a hat trick from this wonderful, wonderful striker, okay? We put in a lot of crosses. And that definitely is something that benefited us, okay? We got to talk about my girl here who plays the Man United, Villa She was bossing in that midfield. She wasn't starting in that opening game, but against New, Ke New Zealand, she came in. Obviously, started to look a little bit better once we, when she did came in and whatnot and helped Ingrid, Sushra Ingen at the end, but it wasn't enough. And then she started against Switzerland. Even though we drew, it was still a overall more of a better performance compared to the opening game. And she started again this time, but now she was just like, whoa, really having that midfield on the wraps, okay? Guido Reiten with a few assists, scored a, you know, penalty herself, okay? Freaking hell, we gotta talk about Carolina Graham Humpson, like I said, even though she was dropped, she started today, she showcased why sis has to start again. Technically, on ability, this woman can play football. She is a baller, okay? Saucy. She scored a wonderful goal, I believe, in that 3 0. And I was like, yo, we cooking. Frida Monum did also very well, of course. And there's so many others that we need to point out. Okay, Marn Miele, the captain. Thea Bielde in the defense as well, alongside her. There's so many people. That just needs to be voiced. But these are some of the ones that I want to vote, you know, put a bit more praise on. Of course, even though Alda Hikipa didn't play, she might ho hopefully be able to be um, playing or at least available for the next game, which will be um, this upcoming Saturday. So in about six days from now, we're going to be playing the winner in Group C, which will be either Japan or or Spain. For me, I'll take either or. I might maybe prefer a little bit more of a Japan, but at the same time, they will be a tough opponent, opponent ahead either way. But I'm very gassed. I saw something 6-0, even though Philippines, let's be honest, this was their very first World Cup, and maybe the expectation wasn't necessarily big for them, but there's not a reason for us to smash them 6-0. No, no, no. I was thinking 3-0, I'll take it. That should be enough for us to hopefully go through. Obviously, we needed maybe a little bit of help in the Switzerland and New Zealand game. Switzerland, you know, they they they, they drew. So they're through uh, in the group. They, they topped the group with five points. We got four points in the second. And unfortunately, one of the joint hosts, which is New Zealand, did... Uh, get knocked out and uh, are not through. But they also in their first, you know, uh, 
what should I say? They've been in the multiple World Cups, but they haven't been able to win a game. And they finally did it against my team in the opening game. With the Philippines, even though they went out, they should still be 100% proud of themselves for, you know, coming in in their very first World Cup and also scoring a goal in the last game against New Zealand, but also winning that game. So they put up an honest fight and... You know, even though we're saying goodbye, big up, though. Um, I do also want to say thank you all so, so much for helping me reach 2K. We did it while we did a watch along for this game. You know, there's a lot of people liking the Women's World Cup content that I've been doing, and I will continue doing more. 100% I'm going to do a watch along for Norway's next game. Like I said, I've been trying as much as I can to at least make sure that I give out the, the content in regards to Norway as I live here, born and raised there, and I, I do love following along with um, the, the national team, both in regards to men and women. doesn't really matter. So, yeah, I'm ex excited for what is to come. I will definitely do another video, maybe potentially stream closer to once the round of 16 starts to do a prediction on all of the, you know, who will go through and whatnot. We're going to keep it honest, of course. But yeah, make sure you give this video here a big thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Now we're on the road to 3K subscribers. So let's go. Feel free to also join the SFT membership. And the link is in the description box for that. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, probably tomorrow in regards to Man United and Dortmund um, match reaction. Until then, have a great time. I'm going to be back at work tomorrow, but this is a great way for me to end my holiday. So peace out. Sophie's out. Bye-bye.